this is a uh, quick video showing the capabilities of imaging using the new Raptor uh, imaging flaw detector. Correctly what we're going to show is the scanner, the automated scanner, and the instrument. We will also provide a, a demo of the manual string scanner. So first I want to show this, I want to show how we will calibrate it real quickly. Calibration is performed uh, very simply as you would perform calibration on a standard uh, thickness gauge. Uh, you take your step wedge block and you adjust the velocity and the, and the, and the zero offset to get the calibration within the limits. This demonstration shows the scanner sitting on our test part. Uh, if you look at the screen, we've got it set up uh, to start measuring thickness. We're, we're taking thickness readings, we're looking at the waveform. Now what we're going to do is uh, bring in the imaging portion of the software. So we're going to bring in a new scan, bring up our scan plan, we will accept that, and we will tell the scan error that we're starting in this position, and we start to scan. Forms on the bottom of the screen, and we are creating the C scan image of the area. step wedge here, this information here, no. we have step wedge information here, and then we have whole information that we scanned here and here. Okay, this demonstration shows us, uh, the C-scanning capabilities using what we call our string scanner, it's a manual string scanner. Uh, we calibrate the probe in the same way as we did in the previous uh, demonstration. And we'll go back into the program and select a scan definition program. We will go accept that. We will tell the probe where the home position is. And then we will tell where the start position of, of the first scan point. And then we just start scanning. by just scanning and filling in the holes.
couple of quick features that are in the uh, Raptor. This is the scan we just done. I'm going to go into the mode and show you some of the features like B-Scan. Our B-Scan basically, we have a B-Scan that shows a cross-section in, in, in two directions uh, by looking at the crosshairs. And wherever the crosshairs move, the center of the crosshair will give you the, the value of, of the depth of the corrosion we also allow you to see the A-scan live waveform of, of the defects that we're seeing. Again, here showing uh, the crosshairs as we move the scanner around. This also can be done in a post-process or after the scan mode. And again, showing the cross-section. Another feature, um, quickly, is the zoom mode, where we can now pan and zoom a window around looking at um, the Im image is in a larger in a larger area, or a smaller area, I should say. We can adjust the size of the box. As needed, move it around. We also have a feature which we call numbers or spreadsheet. Um, if the instrument is calibrated properly, every data point that we take is actual thickness value, and we can provide that to you. You notice the window, this is the window that we're looking at in the larger view. And within that number we have all the thickness values that were taken during that scan. All this information can be exported to a spreadsheet program or other programs for analysis.